Hey, good morning everybody, this is Mark, and I wanted to make another quick video to add to my Glowforge 101 series uh, to that playlist. For those of you guys who are new to the Glowforge, or for that matter, new to any laser, this is one principle that's very simple, but you've got to learn early on, otherwise it'll confuse you. In this case, I'm going to show you a couple of squares that I made in Inkscape, but it's the same thing in any vector program. Here on the screen, you'll see the two squares, and they are exactly the same size. The only difference is that one has an enormous thickness of stroke around it, and the other one has a smaller stroke. And I want to show you that until you convert the stroke to a path or uh, to a shape, the uh, Glowforge and any laser software will completely ignore the thickness of the stroke. So you need to understand that, that it doesn't change the size of the actual square at all. It remains the same. And let me show you that when you go to the Glowforge here, this right here on the screen are those same two squares. And if you were to select them and look down here, they are 1.902 by 1.956. And if you select the other one, the exact same size. So just remember, it doesn't matter what size you make the stroke, because until you make an, an outline or a path, it's going to totally ignore it. I hope that helps.